Hello friends, we will continue our journey in polynomial chapter that is one of the important chapter of standard 10 mathematics. Here in this video we will try to find out the zeros of the polynomial. Zeros means what? The solution set of the given quadratic polynomial as well as we will verify the relationship between the zeros and the coefficient. So let us begin. Let's see the question. Find the zeros of the following quadratic polynomial and verify the relationship between the zeros and coefficient. Here the given polynomial is px is equal to 3x square minus x minus 4. As question number 1 asked in this question is find the zeros of the polynomial. Zeros means solution of the given quadratic polynomial. We will consider that we need to find out the zeros. We will consider that p of x which is the polynomial we will consider it as equal to 0. So 0 is equal to 3x square minus x minus 4. I can rewrite this term in this way here that is 3x square 3x square minus x minus 4 equal to 0. Let us try to find out the zeros of this given polynomial with the help of factorization. Then we know that how to find or how to do the factors. We know that this last term and here the coefficient of x square will be multiplied with each other. So we will do that. It is 4 into 3. We need to factorize both of them that is 4 into 3. 4 is a 12. So that 12 should be factorized in such a way that see the sign over here. The sign is indicating minus. Minus means we need to follow subtraction. We need to do the subtraction of both these factors. That means the factors of 12 we need to subtract from each other to get the middle term. That means we need to subtract both of those factors and we have to get it this term. This term means what? The coefficient of this x is 1. So we need to factorize 12 in such a way that both the factors subtract from each other and will get the answer 1. So the different factors for this must be that is 2 into 2 into 3. You should try to connect them. 3 to the 6, 6 minus 2. Then it is not equal to 1. 6 minus 2 is equal to 4. Another thing that is 2 to the 4 into 3 means the same factor. You know 4 minus 3 will be equal to 1. This is 1. And 4 into 3 is equal to 12. So these are the factors which we are required here. So let us do it. I will write it here. And another thing you have to observe here that sign. As we need to follow the method of subtraction. We know that both the factors would have different sign. And the greater term out of this two will be having the sign which is indicating over here. You know that if it is addition the sign will be same. But here as it is given subtraction to follow means we have to keep the greater term sign this one and it is minus. So I will write it here. 3x square 4 and 3 are the factor. 4 minus 3 is equal to 1. Out of this 2 the greater term is 4. So that will have the minus sign. Minus 4x plus 3x. Now you can see both of them. One is 4x another one is 3x. Minus 4 plus 3 will be equal to minus 1. As well as I will write this term. So it is this one we get the answer x and this is minus 4 as usual is equal to 0. So we convert this polynomial into this form with the factors of this x that is 4x and 3x. Now out of this 2 we have to take something common. Then you can see here what would be common 3 and 4 means nothing would be common over here. But x square and x. So we should take x as a common factor. Then inside the bracket it will remain. x is taken common. Then inside bracket it will remain 3x minus 4. 3x square. 1 x is goes out. So it is remaining 3x minus x has gone out. So it remain minus 4. Plus 
here in this term you can see nothing is common when nothing is common we have to take it common 1 inside the bracket 3x minus 4 is equal to 0 now observe here in both of this you can see 3x minus 4 3x minus 4 is a common so I will take it as a common 3x minus 4 what is remaining over here if you have taken this entire bracket outside then it remain only x the sign is this one that is plus from here also 3x minus 4 go, goes out the remaining is 1 so the factors are 3x minus 4 and x my plus 1 is equal to 0 the question must be there in your mind that suppose I will write it this 3x ahead that means the first 3x and minus 4 1 4x will be here then will it make any change no problem you can keep it 3x should be kept here then this bracket that we have taken here common that would be the second one and this one would be the first one so it does not make any difference either you are keeping 3x minus 4x or either minus 4x plus 3x now you can see 3x minus 4 into x plus 1 is equal to 0 the multiplication of both of them is 0 means either this term would be 0 or this term would be 0 either both of them would be 0 anything must be there so I should write it 3x minus 4 is equal to 0 or I can write it x plus 1 is equal to 0 so here you can see 3x minus 4 is equal to 0 so I should add 4 at both the sides so the answer will be 3x minus 4 plus 4 that is minus 4 and plus 4 will be equal to 0 so equal to plus 4 or in other terms we can say that minus 4 will bring it at the other side then the sign will get changed and minus 4 will turns to plus similar way I will bring this 3 also at the other side it is in multiplication so it will goes in a division so I can write it x is equal to 4 by 3 this is one of the 0 and here you can see x plus 1 is equal to 0 therefore x is equal to I will bring 1 at the other side then the sign will get changed x is equal to minus 1 so we got two solution set that is following zeros the zeros are I will say one zero is alpha then the zeros is 4 by 3 and another zero I will consider as beta then it is equal to minus 1 the first question we have solved find the zeros of the following quadratic polynomial that we have solved but the another question is that verify the relationship between the zeros and coefficient so we'll try to do the same thing over here now we have two zeros that is alpha and beta I will write it here alpha is equal to 4 by 3 and beta is equal to minus 1 now we know the formula for some of the zeros for the polynomial the formula is alpha plus beta is equal to minus alpha plus beta is equal to minus b upon a this is the formula so first of all we have to take this particular polynomial and we will compare along with its standard form we will write it here that is 3x square minus x minus 4 is equal to 0 I will compare it along with the standard form that is ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 if you will compare then you can see the coefficient of x square so x square x square so what is the value of a a is equal to 3 so I should write it here that a would be equal to 3 compare this to plus bx but here it is minus means I can write it plus minus 1 into x so xx would be same so b is equal to what I should write it b is equal to minus 1 what is the value of c then similar way here it is plus sign so plus into bracket minus 4 I should write it so I can say that c is equal to minus 4 now I will put it the value as in the formula alpha plus beta is equal to minus b upon a we'll put it here what is the value of b then you can see it is minus 1 so I will keep it minus into bracket minus 1 the value of b upon what is the value of a a is equal to 3 
now you can see minus into minus in multiplication minus minus turns to plus so it is minus into minus 1 that is plus 1 upon 3 this is what we are getting from the formula that alpha plus beta is equal to 1 upon 3 we will do the same thing here we are having both the zeros that will directly straight away do it the straight method will follow alpha plus beta what is the value of alpha that is 4 by 3 plus what is the value of beta that is minus 1 let us try to do that 4 by 3 minus into plus is minus 1 now we should take the LCM LCM is 3 so here it will be 4 here in denominator nothing is there we need to make it 3 so multiply it at the denominator and numerator by 3 so answer will be minus 3 that is 4 minus 3 upon 3 we can see 4 minus 3 is equal to 1 and this is also 3 so you can see by this method also we got so here we should write it therefore in both this method we verified the relationship now we'll try to find out the relationship that is multiplying that is alpha into beta we'll find out the relationship you know that alpha into beta is equal to what the formula is c upon a now let us put the value what is the value of c let us see here that is minus 4 I'll write minus 4 upon a a is equal to what it is 3 so alpha into beta is equal to minus 4 by 3 we'll try to find out by the same way that is alpha into beta we are already having both the zeros or both the solution set that is 4 by 3 into it is multiplication product of the zeros this we have taken sum of the zeros and we verified that sum of the zeros by the formula and by the same way we are getting the same so it is verified here product of the zeros alpha into beta is equal to c upon a by that way we got it minus 4 by 3 here the value of alpha is 4 by 3 and value of beta is equal to minus 1 we will multiply them minus 4 into 1 is equal to minus 4 and nothing is the denominator so 3 ones are 3 so again you can see by both this way alpha into beta we are getting the same value minus 4 by 3 minus 4 by 3 so again in this also we verified the relation shape of zeros and the coefficient so this is how you can solve this sum